Good morning, KU. I'm Haley McGavick. And I'm Josh Kurlak. Welcome back to the first Tuesday show of the semester. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a kind of a slow start to the semester. Uh -huh. we've, we've had some scheduling conflicts, people out of town, but we are finally here. Yep. No worries. We will have Good Morning KU. Should be every day throughout the rest of the semester. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot to talk about. A lot oh, has yeah. already happened and a lot is going on right now mm -hmm. on campus. It's been quite an eventful weekend. What were you up to? Well, I was out at the KU football game. You may mm. have seen me a little dot in a, a black shirt on the field <laughs> filming um, for some highlights and other, other TV shows here on KU's campus. But Jayhawks got a win. I know, our first one of the season. Congrats, boys. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. And I had to laugh, too, because Coach uh, Charlie Weiss, after the game, talked about, you know, they may have let up off the gas. They were up 24 to nothing in the mm -hmm. first quarter. And then it seems like everything fell apart. And he said, Coach Weiss said that they're not used to success. <laughs> so it was a, you know, but, but he did say that they, they got to win, and that's the most important thing. And as you and I know, those don't usually come very often for the yes, KU football team. It is very rare, but who knows? Maybe this will lead us into a positive season with this attitude. Right. right. And, and once, one more time, what were you doing for the, for the game? Well, I didn't go to the game or really watch it. Well, stay but away because they won. So <laughs> I know. you're 12 and 0 if you stay away from the game. I celebrated before. I tailgated with some friends. So Sounds a lot better. The, Keep whatever mm -hmm. you did, do it again. You yes. should be looking at a, a national championship for KU football. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Uh -huh. um, but so, so moving on from KU football, a success story, and now to a rather unsuccessful story or, or happening or event, whatever you want to call it, that's been going on in student senate. We have a re-election today. Oh yes, I heard about that. And, and it's a re-election from what had happened or what was previously decided last semester. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you know, if you've been paying attention to, to the Kansan or any of the other student media, TV shows, newspapers, or just even Twitter, you, you probably have a, a pretty good understanding or at least a decent understanding of what's gone on. And right. today we're trying to resettle uh, the I'm going to call it a disaster, basically, mm. of, of what has happened with these student senate elections. We've had the one party, the Jayhawkers, be disqualified for supplying burritos. Everybody loves burritos. Mm. You can't supply burritos. No. Well, I guess you know rules are rules. So um, it's a lesson to be learned from everybody. So the Jayhawkers are out. Grow KU and Crimson and True are in today. Mm. And so those two will be going head to head now with, with just the two coalitions for the student senate re-election mm. here today. And polls will be open from 6 a.m., so it's already open, to 10 p.m. tonight. You going to vote? Do you have a preference? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into the parties more. But if you're out there and you've got some time today and you know about this, feel free to go to the polls, cast your opinion, do whatever, yeah. get involved. Please, and, you know, anybody who, who wants to make their voice heard now is the time mm -hmm. um, because I think everybody would love for this to be over with <laughs> yes uh, including myself so um, you know if we could just get a uh, uh, get that all wrapped up and, mm -hmm. and let's get a, a student body president who will be there for more than a few months in office and it's only the third week of school and we already have all this political conflict right and <laughs> Uh, and congratulations, or not a congratulations, but you know, props to M. Halling, who was the vice president from the previous uh, coalition or student body senate, and she's had to come in and serve as the acting student body president. Hmm. So, you know, she was on her way doing other things. They had to bring her back because of all this controversy. Wow. So I'm sure she's also happy <laughs> to see that we will have a reelection coming up today. Yes. Well, we'll get more into that later. Uh, we've got Josh and Eric coming up, and we're going to take a break. We'll be back with them.
welcome back. I'm joined here by KU Info's very own and host of The Breakdown, Eric Pauls. Eric, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. We got you on late notice, but you came in and we're going to try to power through this segment. And, you know, a little bit like student senate elections, we also are kind of scrambling a little bit. I just want to get right into it. What was your initial reaction when you heard coming back from the summer break, we get on campus as KU students, what was your reaction when you heard that there's going to be a re-election? Well, I think like many students, I kind of imagined that this was water under the bridge. I imagined this was over. I imagined we were going to move on. We were going to have the um, Senate put together like uh, it ended up last semester. Having said that, when I heard that they were coming back with another appeal, and I, uh, we got closer to the appeal day and to the decision, it wasn't uh, having followed that process a huge surprise um, that it got taken down. I mean there were, I think it was, I can't remember off the top of my head, 70 percent that voted for Jayhawkers that then those votes were voided. Right. So it, there was a provocative argument for why mm -hmm. those 70 percent should be recast. Right. So that wasn't a huge surprise. I guess I was just surprised that people were still fighting about it <laughs> when I came back to Lawrence. As was I and you know that's, you point out a good point there that you know, a lot of the, the votes from the previous uh, initial re election were void because the Jayhawkers received most of those votes. Right. And now, I want to get your opinion. The Jayhawkers are now promoting or, or kind of backing the uh, tri Crimson and True Correct. Uh, coalition. So what are your thoughts on that, them kind of taking a side, even though they're not in the fight? Well, that's not a huge surprise either. Um, there is a, if you ever have a Jayhawker on the show, you could ask what they have to gain from doing this, because this was uh, a, a decision decided based on arguments uh, that were made by former Jayhawkers. I mean, still Jayhawkers, but they don't technically exist anymore. Uh, but I have seen on Facebook some Jayhawker past candidates have endorsed Grow KU as well. Uh, but it would be an interesting question to pose to one of the Jayhawkers that endorsed Crimson and True and that argued in this case, what do they have to gain? They're not able to be in student senate for a year, um, they, so they can't get any of those um, open senate spots right. from a different administration. So is it purely vindictive? Is it purely revenge? Right. What is it? Yeah, and I think that's a question that everybody would love to know the answer to, and I guess you know, we'll just have to ask them right. here in the future. Right. Um, but do you have any predictions, any expectations for how the re-election will go today? I don't. Uh, the polls close at 4 p.m. tomorrow. And I think the, um, if I were a betting man, <laughs> I, would, okay. I would probably put money on Grow KU just because they've had a larger organization. Right. Um, their organization stayed together after the election just because they got put into Senate, so they kept going, whereas Crimson and True in the last couple weeks has kind of had to try to scrap what they yeah. have left together and go. Having said that, the Jayhawkers are, which got 70% of the vote, meaning they have a decent amount of influence, mm -hmm. are out voting for Crimson and True and pushing that. So. It's, it's certainly not uh, one of those where you can pick it right at the beginning. I, like I said, if I was betting, I'd probably put my money on Grow KU, but I would not be surprised at all with either outcome. So we may see an upset. We may see an upset. Uh, I, it's too late for any third party candidates <laughs> right, to run, right. so I'm sorry that you won't be able to uh, throw you know, your name in the hat I, as well. <laughs> I know you're really you know, excited and gunning for it. I figured with the way everything's been going, you might as well give it hey, a shot. Go for it. You know, it, it's <laughs> shoot, I could probably get out there and get a few votes now. I don't want to embarrass myself though. But, all right, so we talked a little bit before you came on set. You're the host of The Breakdown. Yes. Um, you haven't had a show this semester yet. Not yet. But you're looking forward to getting it back into the swing of things. And when will the first show for that be this semester? First show will be Friday, September 19th okay. at noon. And it'll be every Friday at noon after that. And we're going to have a little bit of a new look, uh, some new segments, some new guests. So we're looking forward to uh, how this semester is going to shape up. Should have plenty to talk about, too, with the re-election as well. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, we'll have quite a bit of catching up to do when exactly. we get back. We've tried to keep on our Twitter, which I'll put in the plug breakdown K U J A. Sure. Uh, we've been trying to keep people updated on that, but it has been um, quite a project to even follow it ourselves. Right. So Friday, you have a time set for that? Friday at noon. Okay. So be sure to tune in and get caught up on all the latest student senate news. Anything else that you guys will be bringing to the table as well? Well, Eric, that's all the time we have, but thank you for coming on. Appreciate you being here. Happy to be here. All right. We'll be right back with the Daily News. We want to
I'm Maddie Cole. And I'm Maddie Ireland. This is your Tuesday Good Morning KU News Update. One of the men suspected of killing a Topeka police officer this weekend had skipped a mandatory sentencing on Friday in Lawrence. Officer Jason Harwood was fatally shot on Sunday during a routine traffic stop in Topeka. Police have arrested two 30-year-old suspects, including a man who was to be sentenced on Friday for a DUI in possession of marijuana. Dutch investigators have officially ruled that Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was struck by high-energy objects from outside the aircraft. The Boeing 777 was en route from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur in July when it went down over Ukraine. A full report can be expected within a year of the crash. A video of Ray Rice actually hitting his girlfriend has cost the former All-Pro running back his job. The NFL has suspended Rice for the first two games of the season. But after viewing the new video footage, the Baltimore Ravens released Rice immediately. The NFL has been much criticized for its light-handed sentence. Anheuser-Busch flew in more than 1,000 people to Cre Crested Butte, Colorado this weekend to film a commercial. The Up For Whatever campaign spent another $500,000 painting the streets blue to create a fictional town. All went, in, went well until it was time to leave. Massive travel delays and missed connections occurred when more than one guest attempted to take marijuana through the security at Gunson Regional Airport. Apple CEO Tim Cook is expected to reveal two iPhone 6 smartphones today in California. Further speculation includes a wearable device called iWatch or iTime. A decision will be made this fall on whether students at KU can minor in Spanish. The Committee on Undergraduate Studies and Advising will hear a proposal for a Spanish minor beginning for the fall 2015 semester. According to the University Daily Kansan, KU is currently the only school in the Big 12 that does not offer a Spanish minor. If you are interested in studying abroad, the official Study Abroad Fair will be held tomorrow in the Kansas Union. Students can learn about worldwide study abroad opportunities from 10.30 to 3.30 in the main lobby. Well, that, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in tomorrow at 10.